Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another segment of Dark Skin Beats. <laughs> be trying some new products i have the new fenty concealer um the hydrating long wear as you can see it's not even out of the package yet and then we're also going to be trying the estee lauder double wear foundation but first we got to get into prepping the skin i go in with my snail mucin and some pawns that's all i use I feel like it just gets the skin nice and hydrated. Y'all can see, it'll be up in the camera. <laughs> and then we go in with the snail mucin. I just do a little bit. I'm in the camera so y'all can see the skin. It's giving radiance, I notice. And then lastly, I go in with the Soft Matte Pro Filter just in these areas because it tends to get more, more oily for me. And you know, this is a matte primer, so it does the job. And now that we're all done and prepped, let's get into the makeup. Okay, so first we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. HD color corrector. I just use it for my dark spots just on my cheek and then around here a little mirror so I can see. Put it right here and right here, here and here. Just in these spots. Then I let it dry down for like a minute or so. Probably not even, probably like 40 seconds and then I blend it out with a little brush. And now we just go in and we just pat that. We're patting because you don't want to remove the product by dragging it and you get more coverage by patting. And I pat when I do my concealer as well because dragging does not help. Now we're gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It says stay in place makeup. I'm going in with shade 7N1 Deep Amber. And then I just put some dots. And with when I do this step, I make sure I don't put it up underneath my eyes. I don't put anything underneath my eyes besides concealer because I don't want it to get too cakey. So let's see how this blends out. blends beautifully that shade match oh, I ate with that because I really just I went into the store and I just had to pick a shade that they had because they didn't have any like swatches or anything it's definitely I would say medium coverage but I'm not a full coverage girl but I think it's definitely buildable we're going to get into trying the Fenty concealer this really got me in a chokehold everything she releases I need okay this is what it looks like if you have not seen it yet I apply my concealer from down here, then I blend up. I don't put it directly underneath my eye because I feel like, I'm, I don't know, I feel like it just doesn't blend out as well. So I'm gonna put a good amount right here and here. I'm gonna put some here, here. Here. Okay, let's go ahead and blend this out. And remember, we're patting, not dragging.
I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'll wait till I'm done blending it and before I make any decisions. I'll give my final thoughts on it when we're done with the full face. I'm going to put a little bit more in just here and blend it out. Maybe I just needed to add another layer. As I said, I'll give my final thoughts when we're done with the look. Actually, I'm not gonna do contour today. We're going to do bronzer and we're going to try the NARS Laguna bronzer. We're gonna go in with the NARS Laguna bronzer. I got it in Laguna 08. So I'm gonna start, I do, I bronze like up higher on my cheekbones so, so my face can look like, like this. Because if you just like put it anywhere, like your face, depends, depending on where you put your products is how it will shape your face. So I just, I go up on an angle like this and bronze upwards. And I love it. It is so... It's just perfect because looking for a product as a dark skinned girl and trying to find one that's dark enough but not either purple or blue or black is hard. It's a hard task to do. Like I said earlier, where you place your makeup defines how your face is going to look at the end. And look at that, that is just so beautiful. We're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Banana Powder. Literally so good, like $6. You can get it at CVS, Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I guess I dip my Triangle Puff. I always use a Triangle Puff. I just think it makes everything just go, just turn out so smooth and seamless. But first, when you dab it in there, you're gonna get this much, but you're going to want to brush some off on the pan and then you can do it on the back of your hand. But we're gonna go ahead and bake now. The base may be done using the Milani make it last I just got it from Ulta because it was a free gift so I can't say if it's good or not
in with our Fenty Killer Watt highlighter. So good. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me get up close and personal. Like, just look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like, you cannot tell me that is not gorgeous. I mean, you can tell me, but I ain't gonna believe you. Brow and lash wand, but I just use the brow part. And it doesn't really do that much, but I don't do my brows, so it just does, like, just enough for me. I just brush my brows up. I'm just gonna take the bronzer brush and just go right in my eye. Just to give it just a little bit of color. Just put a little bit of highlight under there. I then go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Crush. Love it. So good. See, there I go trying to do the most. I never put this much on. What am I doing? Okay, then we're gonna go in with the brown elf lip oil just around the perimeter. And then we're going to go in with the pink elf lip oil in the center. And then last, I just go in and I top all of it with the plumping gloss from NYX. If I had my lashes, it would really complete it but I'm just a stupid and forgetful and I just lose everything but if this hair comes out of place one more time no I'd be see that's my problem I'd be threatening inanimate objects like they're gonna care but like no like I need you to understand if you keep annoying me I'm gonna rip you off my head and then you're gonna be mad but in reality I'm gonna be mad but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I feel I love the foundation it is very nice it's um, medium coverage it's like seamless it's, it's just pretty the concealer at first I was like iffy but now I just had to you know put a little extra on and then after powder and everything I do like it Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you have any videos you would like me to do or anything, just leave them down below, and I will happily do that. And thank you guys for watching.